In this entire new video, you will now discover, syntax and variables, in Python. Please, do not forget to smash that like button, for the YouTube algorithm, since it does really help supporting us, and providing new free content, once a week. Are you interested to be part of this community? All the links are in the description below. Now, let's play this video. If you are familiar with Python, or any other programming languages, you will certainly know that, variables need to be defined, before they can be used in your program. Depending on how and where it was defined, a variable will have to be accessed, in different ways. Not all variables are accessible, from all parts of your program. And not all variables exist, for the same amount of time. Where a variable is accessible, and how long it exists, depend on how it is defined. We call the part of a program where a variable is accessible, its scope. And the duration for which the variable exists, its lifetime. Some variables are defined globally, others locally. This means that a variable referring to an entity in a certain part of a program, may refer to something different, in another part of the program, even at different points in time. Thus, if you define a variable at the top of your script, it will be a global variable. This means that it is accessible, from anywhere in your script, including from a class, defined in the same module. Or both, inside and outside of a function. On the other hand, a variable which is defined inside a function, is local to that function. It is accessible from the point at which it was defined, until the end of the function. And it exists for as long as the function is executing. For instance, the parameter names in the function definition, behave like local variables. But they contain the values that we pass into the function, when we call it. When you use the assignment operator equals inside a function, its default behavior is to create a new local variable, unless a variable with the same name is already defined, in the local scope. Normally, when you create a variable inside a function, that variable is local, and can only be used inside that function. If you create a variable, with the same name inside a function, the global variable with the same name, will remain as it was, and will keep its original value. Thus, in order to create a global variable inside a function, you can use the global reserved keyword. Also, use the global keyword if you want to change, a global variable inside a function, but that was declared outside. If you liked this video, please, do not forget to give a thumb up, and subscribe our channel. Digital Academy, learn free. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like. Comment. And share.